What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Conan Exiles. Last episode, we got ourselves a horse. Uh, we were having a little bit of trouble with it, but I finally, I got it fixed. Uh, unfortunately, C wasn't working. Everybody kept commenting that I wasn't, I needed to hit C. It was in the bottom right-hand corner. And I was hitting C. I was hitting everything on the keyboard. And nothing worked. I couldn't dismount the horse. So what I had to do was I had to start a new world. Uh, so I've been spending a few days, an uh, hour here and there, uh, trying to catch up so that way we can get back to where we were. What we need to do today is I want to go off to the east, uh, go up against the Witch Queen. Uh, I forget what artifact we get from her. I think it's her mask. I'm not sure. But anyways, we need to go ahead and go up against her and... See if anything has changed. Alright, so like I said, yeah, I had to start a new world. We finally got a horse. I went ahead and made the Aqualonian uh, saddle for the horse just to see what it looked like. It's the Aqualonian Scout. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it's called. As you can see, I'm also missing thralls. I haven't been able to go get all the thralls yet. But here pretty soon I will. I'll go ahead and do that all on my own. Yeah, I have absolutely no thralls right now. So yeah, I think I got up to, so far, level 200. So I have a little ways to go to get up to max level again. But we'll be able to get there at some point, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, if we look on the map, uh, the spot we need to go to today is over by the ruins in the east. Over there is where the Witch Queen's Lair is. It's actually a really cool dungeon, and it's been a while since I've been in there, so I'm kind of hoping some of the things might have changed, but we won't know until we actually get there. So one thing I want to do real quick, let's test it out and see if it works. And yep, now we can actually dismount. So unfortunately with some of these games, whenever they do a large update, uh, you have to start a new world because there will be some issues with the old worlds that you do have. The issue I had was with the mount. Dismounting. Hopefully the weapons work. I haven't tried them out yet, but at some point I will. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and ride the horse. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll be able to get up to the ruins because I think they're up on a cliff that we have to climb. So I might have to find a spot to leave my horse, but we'll see when we get over there. Alright, so it took a little bit of time, but uh, the first place I want to go, if we check out the map, uh, there's a little ruin right on this island right here. This is the best place to go get silver. I think there's an entrance right here by this little river that goes to the bottom of the ruin. I think it's this one right here. But I don't want to be taking the horse in there because there are some enemies and yeah, the horse is almost dead anyways. And it looks like the mount and everything else is working, so... Yeah, it looks like the restart actually fixed the bug. So, let's go ahead and get in here. Try to grab ourselves a little bit of silver because we are going to need it. Oh no, where are all the MP... Oh, there he is. And while we're here, let's go ahead and read... Can I read you? Yeah, I can. Uh, I learned a new emote. No idea which one. But, I guess, we'll figure it out at some point. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. First time going up against a boss with the, uh... Going up against a boss with the new roll. Or the new dodge. Ah, this is gonna be interesting. There should be... Nope, no NPC. Well, we got a bear. Oh, this is a level 4 bear, too. Not anymore. Oh, you want to shoot shit at me? What do you think you're messing with? Yeah, even though we're not, uh, even though we're not at max level right now, we're still just destroying people. Anything good? No. All right. So once I kill these NPCs, yeah, go ahead and do a little more. Ooh, that's actually a cool looking fight. Can I get that trident? Check it out? No. 
Alright, so the stone we're looking for is this stuff right here. If we crack it open, it'll give us, uh... Silver stone? Is that all I got out of that? Used to be more. I only got 30. Wow. Well, they changed that. Uh, we'll have to see just how much we get. Uh, but yeah, after we get the silver, we need to do a little bit of traveling because I think uh, we're going to have to follow the coastline since we have the horse. It's going to be very difficult to get over there any other way. The light to guide them home. can't remember if this is something important or not. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's just another, another empty ruin. Now, a lot of the ruins and stuff around here, you you might notice that they added stuff that kind of seems like it should be something. It kind of seems like they had a plan for adding a lot of stuff, but just never, never got around to it. So hopefully at some point, I mean, they have added new dungeons since the last time I played. We'll have to find those. Oh, shit. Okay. Let, oh, shit. There's a lot of stuff around here. Alright, let's get over here. We'll drop off the horse right over here. Uh, well, maybe it's not too safe here. God damn, down there is where... No, that's not where we need to go. Yeah, there's just... Yeah, see all these tight turns and everything? Makes this a little... Okay, we need to turn around. I definitely did not go the right way. I get out of the way. Shit. Oh, and also, when you're charging with the horse, it does do damage as well. Which is kind of cool. But you want to be careful, because if you hit something big, I think it does damage to the horse as well. I need to find a place to dump the horse. I think we might as well just do it out here, because it looks like ins- Ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck. It looks like inside the ruin is not going to be a very safe place. So I think if we dump it up here, it might be okay. Alright, let's go ahead and put you on not following. And now it's time to go explore the ruins, see if we can't find the door to the Witch Queen. And the Witch Queen is right down here. Alright, so it's been a really long time since I've done this battle, but we're just going to go into it, see if we can't defeat her. Palace of the Witch Queen. So, let's get this fight started. There she is. Does she speak this time? I thought they added dialogue to her. You there it is. Mocks you, my enemy. Dagon will protect me. <laughs> All right, so this is the first statue we got to go up against. They're really easy to defeat. Uh, they do an attack, but you could dodge out of it easily, and then just. Hit them until they go down. Okay, so yeah, he didn't hit me. The, the dodge is actually working. Okay, that one did it. Yeah, you have to be a little bit... Yeah. Yeah, the dodge doesn't work very well. And sometimes you have to dodge twice to get out of the... Yeah, see? I dodged right out of that one and it didn't do shit. So yeah, I'm really not a new fan of the new dodge. I am not. It's kind of pointless at this mo at this time. I don't know. I didn't take any damage there. I did there though. All right, screw it. We're just gonna take him down. Where's your health bar, dude? There you are. All right, stamina. Just wait. Now the lasers. Just get in the middle and you'll be fine. There 
becomes the queen herself. Eventually. I was supposed to be your savior! Alright, so yeah, the new dodge is kind of worthless. I mean, before you were able to dodge twice, like really, really quick, and you could get out of the way of enemies like this that have those pretty good attacks, especially when we go up against the, uh, God, what is his name? Jesus. Uh, the one that get the, uh, Tears of Two Races. Shit, I forget what he's called. But anyways, when we go up against him, he has an attack that is kind of ranged. He could attack you from across the room. Uh, so the dodges that we have right now are not going to be very helpful. That fight might actually kind of suck. But it is what it is. Uh, so from her, we get the Mask of the Witch Queen, and we also get the key to Rosma's quarters. Rosma, we haven't actually talked to yet. Well, he never actually talked to her. But Rosma is uh, in the opening scenes of Conan Exiles when you first start the game at the main menu. Uh, you get a cinematic episode. First, they took your family and your riches. Then they took your health and your pride. Finally, they left you to die. What will you do, Exile, when there is nothing left but to live or die? What will you become? Alright, so I think uh, we could also get some blueprints up here. I think it's at her... Her throne, if I remember correctly. Yep, we get the uh, armor. We also get a pike and a Lemurian sword. Uh, so yeah, the fight isn't too difficult. Uh, the dodge that we have at the moment makes it a little bit harder. But, uh, yeah. The only reason I was able to defeat her was because I have a mod that allows me to get it to higher levels. So I have a ton of health at the moment. But yeah, without that mod, I don't think I would have been able to uh, beat her with the uh, new dodge that we have. Oh. But yeah, what we need to do right now is if we go ahead and check out the map, uh, we need to go ahead and talk to Rosma. We also can go over and try to find Conan. I think they're over here in the west. 
so we have to go all the way to the other side of the map ah this is going to be a fun little track but yeah let me, let's go ahead and get over there we'll talk to conan and then we'll go to find rosma if i can remember where the hell they are all right i think i finally found the tavern i forgot to make a left turn but yeah here we go and there is conan of course he has a whole spiel we're going to go ahead and talk to him Cleanse yourself of corruption. I haven't done... Uh, yep. Uh... Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot that I turned off, uh, nudity. Or I still had nudity on. But we're good. Her things aren't hanging out anymore. Alright, so here we are. We got Conan. Uh, he's gonna talk a whole lot, so if you guys don't want to hear him, uh, just go ahead and skip this part. But yeah, let me go ahead and talk to him. He'll, uh, give us a little spiel on Rosma as well. So you live, and we meet again. Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around? Seen your fill of these exiled lands? <laughs> it's not too late to get back on that crucifix. Yeah, Conan is kind of an asshole, just a little bit. Any fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have the stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Ah! I'll be here a while. His wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but... I'm comfortable enough. If you have questions, ask. I wandered for a while after I pulled you from that cross. In the south, I found desperate souls and Darfari man-eaters. In the east, apes that walked like men among the overgrown ruins of an ancient city. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walked and the memories of ancient battles stained the sand. It stank of sorcery. So I left. I have traveled far and seen much. From the glittering ice of Asgard to the jungle expanses of the Black Kingdoms. I have been thief, pirate, and mercenary. But nowhere have I seen gods as I see them in this land. These avatars that stalk and spread destruction in their wake. These are not gods. These are what men want gods to be. Weapons. There is a woman. I freed her from the cross just as I did you. I followed her trail across the exiled lands. I missed her here by a scant few hours. She had left in search of a map room and a way to free herself from the exiled lands. Her trail ended in the map room. She was gone and all of her companions slaughtered. Listen. If you have news of Rasma of Shem, let me know. Ah, what do I know of sorcerers and their feuds? I do not dabble in the dark arts. But, whoever and whatever put you here is a wielder of the dark arts. You are like a wolf in a trap. You struggle to flee in the end. In the end, it will kill you. Be smarter. Find out what they want, then hold it close. They will come for it. And then... Your jaws are on their throat. <laughs> Just remember this. If you do succeed, if you do manage to find a way to remove your bracelet and leave the exiled lands, you will have to make a choice. Stay and be the hero of your own story. Or leave and risk losing it all. The choice will be yours. Choose wisely. Alright, so he's telling us about the end of the game. Uh, if we decide to stay, we can. 
If we decide to leave, we will lose everything. If you end the game, you remove your bracelet, you have to start over from the beginning. You lose everything. Any fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have a stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Bah! I'll be here a while. His wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but I'm comfortable enough. If you have questions, ask. Yeah, this dialogue goes on for a little bit. I wandered for a while after I pulled you from that cross. Alright, I think that's actually it. South, I found desperate souls and yep, menus. goodbye. Alright, so now we need to go talk to Rosma of Shem. So yeah, the woman in the cutscene is Rosma of Shem. If you come over to this center little village thing, where we got the uh, snake dance, this is her hut, right, or this ha her house right here. This is the key that we got from the Witch Queen. Uh, if I remember correctly, what happened was she went to the map room, she was attacked, and her body was taken over by the Witch Queen. So when we defeated her, somehow Rosma teleported back here. I don't know. I would think that we would have killed Rosma as well. But let's go ahead, use the key to get in. And now it's time to talk to Rosma. Uh, this dialogue goes on for a little bit as well. It's not really all worthwhile, so if you want to, you can go ahead and skip it. But let's go ahead and listen to it for those who want to. I wanted to thank you. The woman that you met in those ruins. That was not me. She was ancient and wicked. And powerful. You almost killed me in that city. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All I have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking, purging itself of all traces of that... woman. She knew so much about these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano, and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. The bracelets. She made them together with the giant kings. The bracelets were imbued with the power of seven artifacts. The Witch Queen's Mask, the Diadem of the Giant Kings, the Tears of Two Races, the Shining Trapezohedron, the Star of the Champion, the Heart of the Sands, and the Black Ring of Set. The bracelets were created to translate any language for the wearer, to allow swift movement around the Empire, and to allow communication and recording through the Lore Stones. It was only later, when the war began, that the Queen suspected that the Giant Kings had included a Death Weave in the sorcery. Any who tried to flee their control were simply killed by the Curse Wall. Her people, the Lemurians, were the remnant of a desperate race. Her memories before the exiled lands are vague and confused. Flashes of an island kingdom, sinking as the world heaves. A people being subjugated with fire and sorcery. An escape. 
and a long, treacherous journey into the West. I'm sorry, it's fading so quickly. I remember a daughter, Telleth, and a great betrayal, and a grandchild. She was a mother and a grandmother. She knew what it was to be a slave, and didn't want that for any of her people. She would stop at nothing to prevent it from happening again. Can you blame her? Her mind shies away from two things. Her grandchild, and what her people found in the volcano. Her grandchild was... not truly human. Zoltar? He was a hostage... or something else. I'm sorry. For her, these memories were laden with emotion. I see a beloved daughter, and a hated foe, and a child that brings hope. It is so very unclear. As for what her people discovered at the volcano... Horror, anger, and disgust. And fear. This is the only memory where the Witch Queen of Lemuria felt fear. I truly don't know what I will do now that I have my freedom. Conan has offered to accompany me north, back to my home city in Shem. My palace awaits me, and the pampered life of a princess of Shem. But my enemies, the ones who sent me here, they also await me there. Perhaps instead, I will travel with Conan a while, see the world by his side. He is formidable, yes? For a barbarian. <laughs> Yeah, she kind of has the hots for Conan. Uh, is there anything else? You almost killed me in that city. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water, in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All I have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking. Purging itself of all traces of that woman. She knew so much about these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano, and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. The bracelets she all right. made. Them so together that's all with she has to say. Kings. Uh, so yeah, pretty much she was taken over by the uh, Witch Queen, her body was, and that's who we killed in the ruins. How she's still alive, how she got over here, I don't know. Uh, but there is another reason to come over here, over... I would have to find it, I can't remember exactly where it is. There is a mine around here where we can get some more silver, or gold, something. But I need, I need to find it. It might actually take me a little while. But once I do, we'll go ahead and come back and I'll show you guys where it is on the map. Alright, so this is Rhino Horn Ridge. Oh shit. Is that open? Is that a. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's open now. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> a lot of beasts all over the place. Yeah, if you look on the map... Oh, shit. God damn it. Leave me the hell alone, you little bastards. Damn things are just everywhere. Uh, but yeah, that used to be closed off. Huh. Awesome. I don't know if I want to go in there. I think that's something we'll save for another time. But... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get some of this uh, 
Silverstone, there should be... Is that not Silverstone? Okay, I didn't get shit out of it. Maybe I should have a regular pick for this. Maybe I'll get more. Okay, there's some. Oh! I accidentally went inside. Um, oh, shit. Yep, this looks like a dungeon. This is something we're going to have to do at some other point. We don't have enough time for that. But yeah, this is another place you could go ahead and grab some silver. Uh, it does look like I'm going to be... I'm going to get cl too close to the entrance for these ones. Oh, there we go. Uh, so as far as I know, this place and on the map, if this uh, location right here, the Descent of Dagon, are the best places to get silver. But as you can see, outside you don't get a whole lot. Let's go ahead and drop the stone. Uh, altogether, all I got was 295. That might be enough for now. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get the uh, gold dust and silver dust. So that way we can go ahead and make a map room. Uh, all chemical base. Uh, because there's some... Uh, I think we need that for the map room as well. And then I also need it for the clothing that I want to get later on. But yeah, I guess at some point we do have to go into this dungeon to check it out. It's a new dungeon I've never seen before. There's actually a few of them. I have to find them. I have to go see if I can't look on the internet somewhere and find all these dungeons. Because obviously they're not too easy to find. It looks like we got another one up here. That's silver? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, so now that we got a little bit of silver, I know where to come to get more whenever I need it. I need to go back to the city and grab my horse, get back to base. Uh, so what we do is we just take the silver, we put it into the forge. Uh, it makes ingots, then we put it into a grinder, and it will make silver dust. I can't remember the quantities, but that's something we'll have to figure out later on. Uh, so next episode, I guess the we should go ahead and listen to... Ah, uh, shit. I heard you. Come here. Uh, the Awakened Staff of the Triumvirate and see what is going to be next. Let's get rid of the sword. And I noticed that it's also easier to get into first person when you need to talk to this thing. Now the Priest King had an inordinate fondness for blood sport. I mean, you'd think a creature that spent his days elbow deep in tentacles, eyeballs and seven limbs would tire of violence. In any case, he used to put his bastard half-son in battles in the arena. It was all a bit of a joke, you know. Tyrus was a lot bigger than all the other humans, and so naturally, he excelled. But he was awarded the star of the champion by the triumvirate. Yeah. And the warmaker, well, truth be told, he was a little put out about the success of the Priest King's son. So he put his pet dragon up against the boy. And just when he thought the bastard's luck had finally run out, he ripped off his own horn and jammed it into his brain by way of an eye socket. Absolutely, noble beast, he said, and he pinned the star of the champion to the creature before giving up his gladiator career forever. <laughs> Sickeningly noble boss, but he knew how to please a crowd, so I'll give him that. Anything else? Now the priest king had an inordinate fondness for... Alright, so he's not really telling us where we go next, but I kind of have an idea I think what he's telling us to do is to go into the arena which is that hole right there uh, unfortunately there's something down there that I don't really want to face uh, it's probably the most difficult boss in the entire game and that is the skeleton dragon uh, now what happened was Tyros the son of the priest king or the war maker one of them uh, He's a half-blood, which means he was part human, part avatar, or whatever they're called. Uh, so, what happened was he, they put him into the arena to fight. He won, and the Warmaker got a little pissed off about him winning, so he put the dragon up against him. And Tyros took the dragon's horn, ripped the motherfucker off, and stuck it in the dragon's eye, killing it. Then he took the uh, Star of the Champion, which is what he won for winning all those fights, and put it on the dragon's head, which I guess kept it alive. So yeah, that's what we need to do next. We need to take out that dragon in order to get the, the uh, part of the champion, whatever the hell it's called. 
But yeah, I guess that's the next boss that we have to go up against. That one's not going to be fun. That is going to be hell. Especially with the new dodge. But yeah, if you need to get yourself some rhino skin, this is where you get it. A lot of rhinos over here. Uh, but yeah, anyways, next time, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get some more resources. We also need to do a little bit of building. We still have a long way to go. I, I mean, we haven't even got all the artifacts yet. But we'll worry about all that in the next one. But we'll worry about that in the next one. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.